guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I um, glittered the pink cup that I posted earlier. Um, I used the Mod Podge dishwasher safe one because it's a little lighter. Um, it feels a little runny, but it isn't runny. Um, it's dishwasher safe. So I used this one um, and my glitter, using this glitter, and my brush. And here's my cup. And once I get done um, putting the glitter on the cup, I'm going to let it dry for a few hours. And then I'm going to use a glitter sealant spray. So the glitter doesn't move when I put the epoxy on there. Um, and the same technique <clears throat> is when we're doing the mermaid um, tumbler. You're going to do the same way if you're going to um, apply it with um, Mod Podge instead of epoxy. I like to use the epoxy because then I know it's not going to move. It might be a little bit bumpy. Um, because of the glitter and you will just end up putting another coat of epoxy to smooth out the bumpiness into it and you might have to sand it down but in this case um, today we're just going to I'm just going to show you how I um, glittered this cup because it needs another coat if you can tell you can still see the writing on the bottom so let's get started We probably had to put like a lot of um, Mod Podge on there. But whenever you do it, you're going to want to make sure that you got enough on there. So your next coat of glitter um, catches it to make it a little darker than what it is. So you had to slap it up there for, for you to get it in there pretty good. That's fine. You just need to make sure that you smooth it out afterwards. Hopefully you guys can see how I am doing it. Sorry for all the dinging, y'all. It's it's my um my phone is linked to my um my Apple my MacBook. And you just make sure that you get it um, saturated pretty good, but not with a bunch of lines on there, because then you're going to see it. So right now, we're just caking the Mod Podge on the cup. Okay, so can you see the lines that's on here? You don't want to smooth those completely um, out before you start glittering. So we're going to start smoothing them out. So you're going to want to make sure that you have no lines in your cup. So you want it as smooth as that. 
Once you get it as smooth as you want it, then you can start doing your glittering. Once you got your cup covered completely, don't shake it off to get the extras off. And I usually tap mine to get the extra um, glitter off. And now we have the sparkly. I like it too and that's how I um, pretty much glitter my cups 